Hello, how's it going today? It's Frankie here and welcome back to another video. And before I get onto the video I'm going to be talking about as a review video, I've just finished the season of Baby Reindeer. I finished the mini series. I've got to say it's very disturbing indeed, particularly in the fourth episode. So if any of you are feeling any like disturbed by that sort of drama, then I suggest not watching it. But if you want, go straight into it. The acting is good, as I mentioned in my Baby Reindeer review video. Get onto it, it gets deeper and deeper. And you know the you know the full meaning and reason as to why it's called Baby Reindeer to begin with, you know, the, the usual type of something like that. And I finished season three of SWAT. And I got to say, I thought season one and two was brilliant. Season three has got more drama, more twists, more turns, more better dialogue. Does that you know on that one? So check that, I'm going to be starting season 4 probably tomorrow or the day after, I'll see. Anyways, onto the video, and we're into the quarters. Now, you may wonder why I don't sound so excited for that. It's because, it's not just because of the way we play today, but because of who we'll be facing next. And bearing in mind, when Slovakia took the lead, I was like, yep, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. One of those evenings where we're going to go out on a whimper, you know, this England team, they're always dull. And it was probably the most worst England performance I have ever seen. It's from watching from the start, it's the worst. I've never seen them perform this badly. It was like watching the Dutch team constantly pa passing out from the back, constantly trying to be patient with it. And it's good to be patient. But against this sort of a team, really, you should be putting this team to bed. Journey would be 2 free up, or 2 up in like 20 minutes or something like that. They would be winning this game 3 for one it's kind of sad that we have to keep passing it back, back, back. Pitford could start getting the ball to his feet. It's just all passive. There was no aggression. We didn't have one single shot on target until that like, one moment in the match. It's it's really sad. We went throughout like that first half thinking this is dull. We didn't have a single shot. So Vake looked sharper. They deserved to take the lead. They could have should have easily been two up somewhere. But you know they were better defensive. We were okay. Second half. So back here still again, but a bit more sharper, going a bit more forward. They didn't create as much this time. They're a bit more defensive, but then we still played it packed. There was a time, where was it? I think Walker Fodden was going to pass to one another from a free kick. Slovakia nearly scored from there. I mean, the only dangerous player in our Slovakia team is Skriniar. And I think he plays in Sarriof and Napoli or something. I kind of forgot. It's what they were definitely with the big clubs, if I remember correctly. Correct me in the comments if that's wrong. And there was, we did improve a tiny bit, but still more passive. You know, if Slovakia won, they could have got a second. And that would probably been game over for us. You know, you had a, what, we had a disallowed goal, probably the best thing we'd done since we went behind at all in the entire match. And it was definitely offside anyway, I could see that from Mal. Declan Mal hitting the post, coming from a rebound, boom. Kane with a header that went wide. I was like, is it going to be our night? Is it going to be our evening? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like until one moment, one moment we have, one moment in that entire match, and Bellingham comes with an overhead kick back in the net, equalised. I cheered. I said, we leave with a minute to go. There was no hope for us. And, you know, that's that equalised. It was a relief. We should, we should be actually winning this game 2 3 0. It shouldn't have been that difficult, though. The Slovakia team, I don't even got top 40. But double check that, though. And then extra time came, Kane with came in with the Kane came with the header. What now? He came with the header, boom, it was like relief. But the game swung. And we looked a bit more like like energetic, more positive, more fight going forward. We we changed. It should, we should have made it free one as well, actually, come to think of it. Somewhere. We were actually we actually played all right for that one. And then time management came in. It was like, oh my god, relief. Two of our best players, in my opinion, that England team stood up. And I was saying that Bellingham should do some more often for us. Overhead kick in the net. It was a great, a great you know, goal, I should say. Kane of his usual header. These are the players that should be stepping up. We've got players that win, that won like Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues and Cups with their league teams. When it comes to England, nah. They get they are bored. Like they're missing their league teams. <sighs> Relief though, I mean. It was it was calling out for that. If it wasn't for that equaliser, I don't know what we would do. If we were at Bellingham, I don't think that would have went in. It's I don't know, I haven't seen England perform this bad, but at least we got a win, like I keep saying it's a win. We're in the quarters against Switzerland. Ah 
You know, this way it gets difficult. I did predict that you might win 2-1 two, two against Slovakia, was it 3-1? I can't remember, maybe 2-1. I knew it would struggle and scrape a win. You know, I didn't think it would be one down, though. That's one thing I didn't expect. But yeah, um, you know, Germany cruised it past Denmark, something we couldn't do. We had that like, Switzerland beating Italy. Now, there's the one right there. If they could beat Italy, the Euro champions from a few years ago, they could easily beat the Singing team. Because the way the Singing team looked, Slovakia could have got a second. They could, they, we are easy to play against, we are easy to cut through, you know, and Switzerland will get a free past us. I won't be surprised. But then again, you know, we could be making it difficult. We could be playing, it, we could be on our game that time because we have to visit the quarters. Like I said, I don't, I don't cheer for anything yet. Unless we actually get there to win it, then I'll start cheering a lot more. Because still, this team's going to let us down. I was about to have a tight already. This nation keeps letting us down. Thankfully, we didn't. I mean, quarters. Again, they're going to make our all. If we get we get the semis and finals, we've, we've achieved. No, we haven't. This nation should be competing more for the Euros and World Cups. We should be getting to finals and winning it more. No matter what anybody says, this team are world-class players on the pitch. We should be competing more for this. We don't win anything at all. We're just there for pride. And yeah, it was a good win that we got. But you know what? We need to make sure we continue. I don't know who we play after if we, if we beat Switzerland. Germany gets to face Spain. Spain got a good win, didn't they, against Georgia 4-1. They didn't struggle with them. You know, when Georgia took the lead, they probably fought differently. Oof. You know, so we've got to make sure we step up here. This is, this is the time to step up right now, honestly. Um, I think I think Southgate should leave. If we don't make it for any of this tournament, he should leave. Simple. We haven't scored enough goals. We just managed to scrape past Slovakia. If it wasn't for that equaliser, we'll be out. It was only a minute to go. We had to equalise. That took us one more minute. Slovakia, yeah, they just defended and they they were brilliant, you know. But again, the play you play at Germany or Spain, that was one game and get hammered. I don't know. But what I'm saying is that we managed to be in the quarters. To our, to our main players who actually should be crucial for the tournament anyway. They, they Actually, they're responsible for the goals anyway to the tournament. They're the only ones that have scored for us. So that's, that's one positive, right? That's one thing. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, share with everyone you know, subscribe and hit the notification below. And we'll see you in my next video.